Tomorrow night, Vigo County's commissioner should update the council on the quest for a new county jail. News 10's John Swanner sat down with the county attorney. He learns more about what to expect at tomorrow night's public meeting. Friday's jail population topped 300 inmates, well over the court-imposed cap of 268. Vigo County currently faces two jail-related lawsuits. That's why the county commissioners want some difficult decisions made in the near future. There are issues related to those cases that could potentially remove the control that the commissioners and the council have over this process right now. Right now, architects from DLZ in Indianapolis propose a 534-bed jail that would cost around $66 million to build. Wright says couple that cost with the fact the county's 2017 budget spends $3.5 million more than it'll take in. This puts the council, the county's fiscal body, in a tough spot. Some new source of revenue needs to be considered to, one, fill that gap and deal with the long-term cost of, of building a new facility. Council President Rick Berger was unavailable for on-camera comments. He did send News 10 a written statement. It said the council will review existing and future future revenues available. The council could also implement a new tax rate to cover the debt service. Another option is to pass an additional income tax. Tuesday's public meeting will feature the architects, contractors, and our county leaders so they can update you on this important project. They want to be as transparent as they can be. They don't want the public to feel like any information was not known to them. In Vigo County, I'm John Swanner, News 10. DLZ is the jail's design firm. They've also designed jails in Elkhart and Stark counties in Indiana, as well as Lucas Oil Stadium.